In the heart of Nigeria's Anambra state, amidst the tapestry of cultures and the rich tapestry of history, unfolds a captivating saga of the Igbo people. This is the story of Eri, the enigmatic figure at the heart of the Igbo's profound origin tale. The Igbo, a large and diverse ethnic group in Nigeria, have a history that stretches back nearly 6,000 years. Central to their ancestral narrative is Eri, a figure often referred to as a sky being with supernatural powers, a monarchic ruler, and the father of the Igbo people. Eri's legendary story begins with his descent from the heavens, sent to earth by Chukwu, the supreme deity of the Igbo people. He arrived to find a world submerged in water and desolation. Eri, in his divine wisdom, sought Chukwu's aid to transform this watery wasteland into a thriving paradise. Chukwu responded by sending other supernatural beings, like Orca the blacksmith, to assist in reclaiming the marshy land. Eri played a pivotal role in establishing order among the people of Anambra, in the southeastern corner of Nigeria. His leadership laid the foundation for what would become the NRI Kingdom, a place shrouded in mystique and tradition. While some believe Eri was an ancient king, others trace his lineage back to biblical references. Eri, they say, was one of the seven sons of Gad, a descendant of Jacob. Fleeing from Egypt, he found refuge by the Eziu and Omambala rivers in Anambra, where he established a thriving community. In Anambra, Eri married two wives, Neamaku and Oboli. Neamaku bore him five children, including Agulu, founder of Aguleri, Menri, also known as NRI, Onugu, Igbarium, Ogbadulu, Amanuke, and Igwedo, whose descendants founded five other regions. Oboli bore him one child, Onoja, who became the founder of the Igala kingdom in the present-day Kogi state. Eri's legacy extends further as he is believed to be the founder of the influential Umunri and Umweri clans, which thrived as powerful dynasties in northwestern Africa. Yet Eri's story doesn't end with his life. His son, NRI, plays a significant role in Igbo folklore. To appease Chukwu for food, NRI sacrificed his first son and daughter, burying them separately. Miraculously, after 12 days, Yam and Taro grew from their graves, sustaining the community. Beyond the folklore, archaeological evidence points to Unri's influence emerging around the 9th century. Eri and Nri's legends became foundational for the kings who followed, known as Ize Nri, who traced their lineage to these legendary figures, often through the Umunri and Umweri clans. Eri, the sky being and ancestral father, weaves a tale of tradition, mystique, and enduring cultural significance in the heart of Nigeria. Join us in unraveling more captivating stories like this.